about anything that's obviously preached that, that God has a purpose and God has a plan for your life. And it almost got to the point where it was, it was almost cliche about it, you know. I was like, oh, you know, God's plan and stuff. And I didn't know, you know, what, what my plan was in life. But uh, last March, I, I started to see my plan in life. Um, I was sitting in my room, and uh, all of a sudden, I just, I just got this revelation. Um, you mean, y'all must have known me. I used to play football. I used to be, uh, you know, played it my whole life. I used to be, you know, who I was and everything. But uh, I felt like God, God was calling me away from football. You know, I felt like, you know, it was becoming a distraction in my life, and I felt like God wanted to, you know, use me in somehow, and, you know, me being Brian, being football, I was like, no, that, that can't happen, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't do that, God, but sure enough, uh, I, I just I just kept feeling it and feeling it, and finally, uh, I got the courage, you know, to finally walk up and, and uh, tell a coach, you know, hey, man, I, I'm feeling some, I'm feeling led to, you know, to leave football, and I don't know, <laughs> you know? He goes, well, what are you going to do in the meantime? I said, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't got that far yet. And um, I was I was fearful. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know if I'd miss it. I didn't know if I'd be back within a week. I didn't know where I was. But uh, God, you know, God kept me strong. And uh, one thing is, uh, one thing that really weighed on my heart is, uh, you know, there's there's three, for me, I think there's three types of faith. There's your childlike faith. You, you grow up in it, you hear about it, and, it, you know, you just don't think about it much more. And then after you get your childlike faith, you got to own your faith. You know, you got to take it. And you got to believe it. But for me, you know, coming up and being raised, um, I, I believe that faith without action, it isn't faith at all. It's just believing. And believing just brings us back down to step one. You know, and I believe that you have to take the step up and actually take action in your faith. And that's what I did. I took an action in my faith. I didn't know where it was going to go. And I didn't know where it was going to end. But I'm just going to tell you right now, God's moving in my life. And so um, I went, I had been growing toenails, I'm sure. You know, and uh, I've had them four times. Doctors told me all four times they're never going to come back. And sure enough, they came back every time. You tell me about it. But <laughs> it ended up, uh, there's there's this infection going around, you know, sports. It's a MRSA, it's a staph infection. Plenty of people have uh, died from it. Uh, many of them, you know, have been hospitalized. And uh, after the third time, they cut them out uh, and they took a culture of it. And when I went back, they gave me the test results. And they were like, Brian, uh, you had MRSA. And uh, that kind of, you know, knocked me out because, you know, I played the whole season with them. You know, I just come home and, like, all of my toes are red and have yellow stuff in them. You know, it's cool. No big deal. But uh, sure enough, uh, I could have died. I, I had MRSA. I very well could have died. But um, that, that wasn't what really made me decide to quit football. It was the fourth time they came back after that time. And once again, you tell me about it. And um, <laughs> this, was, this was after I already told Coach that I was feeling led. Um, I walk into the doctor's office. And, uh, you know, doctor walks in, oh, hey, Brian, how you doing? You know, it's been two weeks, you know. <laughs> we were, we're on a first-name basis now. My body mode is gone. So, uh, <laughs> um, so uh, he comes in and goes, well, we're just going to have to cut the whole thing off, put some acid in there, and kill the root. I said, whatever, you got to do what you got to do. So then uh, he did that, and then uh, while he's getting all uh, washed up and sterilized and whatever doctors do, then, uh, the, the RM, the, you know, the nursing assistant, walks in and uh, she kind of looks at him. You know, they know me. I've been there a hundred times. They know my life story. They know what I'm about and what I do. You know, they knew I played football, and they knew, like, I liked it a lot. And uh, the nurse kind of walks in and just, just kind of looks at me. And I was like, what's going on, you know? And then she goes, uh, Brian, uh, you, uh, you, you still play football? I go, no, no, I just uh, I, th I thought I'd give it up, you know? Just, I said, no, I don't, I don't play football. She goes, oh, okay, good, because I'm not sure how this would have worked out. She told me I probably – couldn't play football anymore after that. And I almost fell out of the chair. I almost had a heart attack, too. But uh, it, it was amazing. It's like somebody just, you know, it, the bell started going off, you know. And, and I'm here to tell you that there is a plan out there, and everyone in this room, you're even here tonight because it's part of a plan. You're sitting in this chair. You're sitting in, you know, the third row in the third seat because you're supposed to be there. You're going to go home and you're going to go to bed at a certain time because it's planned out. And it's the action you take when you get planned out. It, and, that's, and that's what it came to me is, you know, once I found out my plan, I've been going nonstop, 110%. And, and my life's never been better. I'm never looking back. I'm going. And it's great. Awesome. It's good stuff. And I just wanted to share that with you all today. As the awesome. band uh, come, up, come up and start to play, I mean, play, not play, band's going to come up. 
Um, you know, I'm coming, coming from a, a, a Southern Baptist uh, roots. Uh, we, we like to have invitation. And uh, that means uh, after the service, you know, the music's playing. I, I like to open the altar up and come pray. If you feel a tug on your heart, if you feel something in your head, you know, I'm, I'm here to tell you that's, that's just not, you know, you suffered from last night. That, that's God. He's moving in you. He wants you to come up here. Pray with me. You know, if you're, if you're in this room and you think there's no plan for you and you think you're just sitting here just because, come talk to me right now and I'll tell you, I'm a walking example. God's real. I'm a walking example. God has a plan for everybody. And I want to make this known. And if you're in this room and you don't think God's out there and you don't think Jesus is real and he came and he died on that cross and on the third day he rose, I'm going to tell you that he is here. And he's in this room right now. He's standing right beside, he's standing right beside me right now. I'm not talking. This is God. He talks through people. And that's what the cool thing about it is, is I'm not talking. These are words from God. And it's amazing. And I like to, I like to re, uh, leave you with one scripture. It's Proverbs verse 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. For me, my own understanding was to play football. You know, and, I, and after I read that, and it, you know, it's been on favorite Bible verse for years. And, and it came to me and I was like, that's my own understanding. I felt it like that was mine. I said, I can't do that. And then it, it trust the Lord with all your heart. You don't lean on your understanding. The only way is acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. I'm acknowledging Him everywhere I go. I even wear it on my wrist every day. I never take it off. It says, God strong. I live my life God strong. I want you to live your life God strong. And He will direct your path. Let me tell you, the path He has for you, it is amazing. And it is the eternal life. You will never die. You're never gonna. You're never gonna die. Like I, our minds can't fathom that, and I know that. And some for it's hard to believe, but we're never gonna die, and it's amazing when you actually think about it. So as the band starts to sing, I'll be here. If you feel like God's talking to you now, come up here and pray at the altar. I'll pray with you. I'll show you. I'll use your words. I'll help. I'll help get you through whatever you need. If you, if you just need help to get through the day, the day school day, I'll pray for you about it. There's power in prayer, and I'm telling you. God moves. He moves mountains. With faith as small as a mustard seed, you will move the mountains. And it is great stuff. Amen.